everybody, welcome to day two of our Disney Magic Cruise. Oh my gosh, you guys, last night when we walked through our door at about 10.40ish, I knocked right out. <laughs> and I had such great sleep, the rocking of the ship just put me right to bed. Um, I woke up early, so right now it's about 6.45ish, and I normally don't wake up this early. Normally I wake up around 8 a.m. <laughs> But I'm very grateful that I got to wake up early and witness this beautiful sunrise. Sean is at the gym right now, per usual. I am going to start getting ready. We have Palo brunch at 10 a.m. And then after that, we have like an open schedule. We don't really have any major plans. So today is a sea day and we'll see where the day takes us. about 9 30 and we're all dressed and ready for our Apollo brunch at 10 30 and so we're going to probably walk around the ship and maybe take some pictures yeah so honey do you want to tell us about your outfit sure I have my Mickey tie and my Mickey tie clip with white shirt navy pants and oh what but I got my Disney Cruise socks. If you guys watched my uh, Disney Cruise haul, you would have seen those socks on there. Um, as far as my outfit goes, it's giving off very much Lucy Ricardo vibes, and that's the look I'm going for because you all know that I love Lucy. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys up there maybe. Maybe see, show you some behind the scenes as we take pictures and whatnot. So see you guys in a little bit. So on deck 10 F is where Paul is. All right, we are inside Apollo. This is our server, Rob. Do you want to be on our? Why not? Hi there, welcome to Apollo. Thank you. And here is our view. So for drinks, we have Mickey's Finest Tap Water, and then we also decided to get the um, apple cider. Cheers! <laughs> so here is our bread selection. This one's my favorite one. It has like sun-dried tomatoes in them. And what are you going to order for bread? Food, lots of pasty, uh, chicken breast, and the lasagna. We're also gonna share a flat bread. We usually order like half spicy Italian sausage and half margarita, but I think we're gonna switch it up and try the goat cheese um, instead. So we ordered double up on the seafood antipasti. It's our favorite. So here are our flatbreads. We have the spicy Italian sausage and the feta cheese, no, goat, cheese. goat cheese and sun-dried tomatoes. So I got the lasagna. We're gonna share the stuffed chicken breast. And you got the... Rolatini, vanilla lasagna. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Please forgive me if you're watching this. <laughs> so Lynn and I are part of the Queen Fleets Club. So I got the lemon. Lemon chummy. I got the lemon chato cake. Lemon chummy. I got the lemon cake. <laughs> And I got the panna cotta. All right, you guys, we got the bill and panna cotta. We get to have a complimentary meal here at Palo since we are officially Platinum Castaway uh, Club members. Thank you, honey. 
Oh my god, I am so sleepy. We just got done eating brunch at Palo and we're back in our stateroom and I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> But that was so cool. That was our first time being able to use our Platinum Castaway Club uh, benefit of eating at Palo. Um, for free. For free. Yay. Well, not free because it really cost us thousands of dollars for being able to sail with Disney Cruise Line. And yeah, but it was worth it. You know, we love Disney Cruise Line. I'm just rambling now. Bye. Good night. Hello, we are awake from our nap. And you know, I set my timer for 30 minutes, but we ended up sleeping for about 45 minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. You guys already know, when I sleep on a cruise, I get my best sleep ever. <laughs> I knock out just like that. So after Sean is done getting ready, we're gonna go to the concierge lounge and get some coffee and just chill there for a little bit. And I actually switched into some casual clothes. So normally when I cruise, I wear a dress like every single day. Today kind of felt like a chill casual day. So after brunch, I decided to put these ears on and then this spirit jersey on the back. It says sailor and I'm wearing some black leggings and my yellow sandals. This is my first trip that I'm using my new Stony Clover Lane that my sister gave me. And you guys, it is worth the hype. I love it. This is the jumbo size and later I'm gonna do like a video of what I carry around with me when I'm sailing on Disney cruises and hopefully you'll be able to find some helpful information in that future video. But yeah, we are enjoying our time here on the Disney Magic. Like many people have reported, there's just a different vibe, a different sense of magic that you get on these classic ships and it's it's all true it's 100 percent true even though the ship is smaller there's still so many things to do so many things to see and the ship doesn't feel full this is a sold out cruise and the ship does not feel full so like me being an introvert i'm always looking for like the quiet places i don't like being around huge crowds and i've been able to find lots of places for peace for internal peace so yeah all right, see you guys in a little bit. So we're taking a break in the lounge and I'm going to make myself some coffee. Huh, what should I Just, oh my god, like I was having a panic attack. I thought it was gonna like blow. Uh, Let's see, what am I gonna get? Alright, so I have shrimp, I have mango panna cotta. So, this is kind of like what we just had at brunch. This is my brunch dessert. Um, and then I also have cappuccino. Sean has shrimp and ham sandwich. Ham sandwich and a pizza. Where's the milk? All right, baby. What did you order? I got a bit frappe mocha. Just bit. From the Co Bar. Co Cafe. Co Cafe. Sean made me a double shot from the espresso machine in the concierge lounge, and I just added it to my coffee here to make it a little bit more stronger. And then a shopping spree. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> So I have the fantasy and the wish, and now I'm about to get to the magic. I'm also gonna get the mug. So I could not find one of the wish when we were on the ship a couple months ago. But so far we just have the fantasy and I need the whole collection. 
Ooh, check out this Judy and Burke Disney Cruise Edition. It's a backpack, it's so pretty. Here is a jewelry trinket tray. This is $17.99 and so cute. I already have like a lady trinket tray that I keep by the sink when I wash dishes. That's where I put my ring there. So I don't really need another one, but if I did, I would buy that one. So I guess I should have explained. We were just shopping at White Caps and now we are in Mickey's main sale. Captain Minnie. Check her out. That's my girl. The hammock. So if you watched my Disney wish haul, you know that I bought this thing and something I forgot to point out was that there's like a hole at the bottom. That way you can put your charging cable through it while your, your phone is just chilling in here. Actually, you know what? I can just show you what it looks like. Here, I got my phone. There, Ash is on vacation too. <laughs> All right, we are back in our room for a quick little break and also change our outfits. Um, so we went shopping. I did not buy as many things as I thought I was going to. And you know what? That's a good thing. <laughs> Last night when we were walking through, just like the rush of emotions was just like flooding through me, like buy me, buy me. And I really thought I was gonna buy like all the things that I was like, oh my God, I love that. But I did good. But the thing that I was most looking forward to buying was that Loungefly backpack. So I'm really disappointed that I didn't find one that did not have any imperfections. There was about like 12 of them out there and all of them had like little scratches and de and other flaws. And I did not want to pay $95 for something that's already flawed and it's not something that I did myself. You know what I mean? So if they have it on the next cruise and they're still wrapped up in their plastic or they put brand new ones out, maybe I'll consider buying them. But at this point, you know, it's kind of like just knowing that they've only been out there for a short period of time and haven't really had, you know, actual use in them and they already show some wear and tear is kind of disappointing, especially since it's lounge fly. But anyways, <laughs> we're back in our room. We're gonna change our outfits and the rest of the day is just gonna be like boom, 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 boom. Right now it's about like 3.10 and we're gonna do a trivia, the Disney theme park trivia at 3.45 and then right after that, we're gonna try to play bingo and then right after that is the twice charmed Cinderella story, which I'm so excited for. I barely remember what the entire storyline was about because the last time we were on the ship was back in 2017. So from what we can can recall is basically Cinderella in an alternate storyline. So it low key kind of reminds me of MCU, how there's alternate universes and whatnot. So I am excited to experience it again. And then after that, of course, is dinner. Where are we eating, baby? Uh, Lumiere's. Lumiere's. So yeah, dinner at Lumiere's. I don't really have an outfit that's very Beauty and the Beastie themed, so we're just gonna wing it tonight. So if you don't like shopping when there are a ton of people around, I totally recommend shopping on a seating. So when we were in there, there wasn't like, there was people in there, but it wasn't like super crowded. But in between dinners and shows, it gets chaotic in there and I... I feel claustrophobic when I'm in there during those time periods. So I try to avoid going there usually uh, during that time. And then remember on port days, they are closed when we are docked and yeah. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to go get ready. Bye. All right. We made it into the D lounge for the Disney theme parks trivia. Wish us luck. I feel like I have a solid knowledge, but I don't, I don't know how we'll do. <laughs> there might be some bigger theme park nerds here. Have you been entertained so far? Yay! That's what I like to hear. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna read you a question. It is gonna be Disney theme park related. All you have
have to do is write down the answer. Now it doesn't have to be right and it doesn't have to be wrong. It does help if it's right though because the winners of our trivia are going to get these medallions. Everyone say, ooh. Everyone say, ah. Everyone say, oh. Yes, you'll be the envy of everyone wearing these. You have to wear them all the time as well. So, who is ready for our theme park trivia? We have trivia pads, we've got pencils, we've got me. So, let's get started. Question number one. On which date did Walt Disney World officially open? Again, I need the date, the month, and the year. Question number three is, which attraction is the happiest cruise that ever sailed? And no, it is not the Disney magic, I'm sorry. <laughs> It tickles your funny bone. <laughs> How's everyone else? They're like, please go away. <laughs> I'll leave you alone. Okay. When Halloween arrives at Disneyland, who takes over the Haunted Mansion? Again, number 25. When Halloween arrives at Disneyland, who takes over the Haunted Mansion? We only got 11 right. Oh, yay, good job. Okay. So, did you have fun though? So that was an exciting trivia. We did worse than I thought we were going to. We only got 11 out of 25, but it was a lot of fun and we learned a couple of new things. And now we are rushing to go down one floor and then we're gonna go play bingo. All right, so we made it to Fathoms and we're about to play bingo. So for $80, you can get two electronic cards and then three of these. And they also provide markers. So hopefully this will be our lucky, our lucky day this time. The next number is another G. Here we go, we're in the Gs. Let's stay with 57. G57, it's G57. Gee whiz indeed. Oh, it's sing-along time. Go! Well, that was good. That was good. Let's be louder. Go! Oh, oh, so good. Shake it up, Betty. I heard the request and so did Betty as we go to the ends. With N. Oh, this could give us a standard. Maybe, possibly, potentially. Let's find out. N37. N37 is N37. Is anyone rising dramatically to their feet? Uh, some people call it a coverall, other people like to call it a full house, but because I have lighting and sound effects, I like to call it the blackout game of bingo. Ah! It's G50. G5 and O, it's G50. If you get a claim on this, we will get to you, but first we have a stance. So we just got done playing bingo and oh my gosh, for the fourth round, I was only one away and then 
not my lucky day. <laughs> but, 070. Yeah, all I needed was 070, but we had so much fun. That was like the closest I ever got to winning. So maybe the next time we play bingo, it'll be, it'll be the one. In two days. <laughs> two days, yeah. Two days, we're gonna try again. So for, I feel like on the first cruise we spent 60 bucks? No, we spent more than that, huh? Yeah. Like 100. $100. Over $100. <laughs> Over $100 on the Wish, and then we just spent $80 today, so hopefully we'll, we will win a good payout by the time that we actually win something. <laughs> but the first payout, I think, was like... 200 $200? Yeah, so the payouts seemed like they were smaller than what they were on the Wish, but there's also um, less people playing bingo on board here, so... Yeah, right now we're just hanging out in O'Gill's Pub because in about 10 minutes we're going to be able to go through and get our seats for <laughs> Twice Charmed and then we'll see where we go after that. Hello, Lindsay. No popcorn for no me. No popcorn, but water. would you like to drink? Water? And for aquapana, you. aquapana for you. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Have a smooth time. Hello. Hello. Enjoy the show. Thank, Thank you. you. We got our popcorn. I have some aquapana water. All right, we just got done watching Twice Charmed and it was an amazing show, just like we expect from Disney Cruise Line. And it really goes to show that true love will find its way even if they try to rewrite the storyline. We're back in our room for a quick little break. We might change, I don't know yet. And then we're gonna head back to the concierge lounge. All right, so we're taking a little break in the lounge. We have some snacks. That'll tie us over until dinner at Lumiere's. Good evening from Lumiere's. So this is where we had our lunch on our first day and today we're here for dinner. We are at table 56. We opted to view the menus from our cell phones, but they do ask if you prefer like having a regular menu or if you're okay with looking at your phone to figure out what you want to eat. We're totally fine with just looking at our phone and we already previewed it earlier, so I feel like we already know what we want anyway. So if you're adventurous, this is the place where you would order escargot. They have that on the menu as an appetizer. I think I'm just gonna opt for the lobster and shrimp as my appetizer. What about you, baby? Same. Same? No snails for me. <laughs> yeah, we've tried the snails. It's not that it's bad or anything. It's actually pretty good, but just not feeling snails tonight. <laughs> All right, so what I ordered this evening was two of the iced jumbo lob, wait. I ordered two of the iced lobster and jumbo shrimp. Sean also ordered the same amount as I did. So then I'm opting for the potato and leek soup. Sean has the French onion soup. And then we both ordered the congoliche pasta. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's supposed to have lobster in it. And then for dessert, I ordered the creme brulee. It's vanilla flavored. And then Sean has the Grand Marnie souffle. Souffle, hey. <laughs> fancy. Fancy schmancy. So we ended up bringing our drinks that we got from the concierge lounge. And then here's our bread service for today. We've got butter here. And then it looks like balsamic vinegar and some oil and white bread. Lots of shrimp and lobster tonight for us. All right, so here is my leek and potato soup, and here is Sean's French. French soup. All right, so here is our pasta dish with lobster on top, and Sean also ordered the same thing. Here is my creme brulee, and here is Sean's Grand Marnier souffle. So our head survey came up to us and we told him that we're doing a back-to-back -back, so he double checked with us to see if we wanted to have like the same serving team or the same table and we told him yes. So we're gonna have the same dining team for our next cruise which is going to be a six night which I think is going to be amazing. That way they, they already know us, what our preferences are. So we're gonna go ahead and eat dessert now and then we'll see you guys later. 
All right, so today's towel animal appears to be a mouse, I think. And we got two pieces of chocolate. So cute. The only mouse I ever want to see is like, <laughs> never mind. I don't even know what I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm so full. So dinner at Lumiere's was really good. We told our servers that we weren't going to see them tomorrow because we're having dinner at Palo, but we will be with them at yeah. Animator's Palette. That's our last dining destination. That's the only main dining room that we have not been in yet. So looking forward to that. So the reason why we chose Palo for tomorrow is because we already knew that we were going to be eating at Lumiere's again, and it was going to be the Pirate Night Dinner menu, which we are going to experience on our next cruise. Anyway, so we're like, oh, let's just try out dinner um, for this day. Right? Yes. We're also having dinner early. So we're going to have dinner at 6 p.m. instead of at 8.15, which is like our normal dinner time when we're uh, eating for second dining. So we're going to hopefully have some time after dinner to enjoy pirate nights and have time to like get ready and whatnot. So yeah. So earlier today we saw one of our hosts, our stateroom hosts, and we asked for um, another pillow. So we asked for a firmer pillow because the two that we have here are like super soft and like literally when I would lay down my head would be on the bed. <laughs> it would just went right through the pillow. So I needed a little bit more firmness and she delivered. So thank you for delivering that to us. So tomorrow we are docking at Cozumel. We've decided that we're going to stay on the ship tomorrow and then maybe meander on our next cruise. Our head server told us that we were docking at the downtown port, which I guess is a really great location. It's only like a five to ten minute walk to all of the touristy shops and restaurants and whatnot. So he was saying that prior they were docking off like at a further location and it was a really far walk. So all right, now I'm rambling and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. All right. I just got back from the room and look my wife's awake and she's recording Shh. she's not gonna see this until she starts looking over our videos so I'm just gonna sit here and watch hopefully this is on the behind the scenes but again she won't know that Good morning, it's 9.30 and we are all ready for Palo Brunch, which our reservation's at 10.30 and so we're just going to take some pictures. Is it 10.30 or is it 10? I thought it's 10.30. Hold please. 10.30? Okay. <laughs> Look who's ready! Shot is! Woo! What about you? Oh, I did it. I already oh. filmed. Let's do it together. Okay. 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 And tomorrow's the sea day. Yeah? No. Tomorrow's Cosmo. <laughs> All right, we just got done watching Twice Charmed, and um, it, 